What's going on, NFL YouTubers? Chris back with you guys with another cool video. Uh, sorry it took me a while to get back. Uh, a little under the weather. Haven't been like that in about two or three years. Been fortunate, you know, really haven't had any colds, which was good. I know a lot of you guys, uh, I'm sure if you haven't had it, friends of yours did, um, these flus and everything going around. I mean, it's just horrendous, right? But, you know, we're getting better, about 80%. We're, we're doing really good, so uh, let's jump right into it. Anyway, this is about, I think it's Sol uh, 1081. Uh, let's jump into that because I want to show you this. This is pretty cool. Um, we can just go ahead and jump out of this. All right. Uh, the panorama I want to show you, with a couple things in this pan I want to show you, and then I'm going to show you something that's just painfully obvious, and you don't have to do a thing to this photo, okay? Now, many of you... <coughs> I still got this cold, as you can see. Uh, many of you have seen this, if you're on the Facebook pages, this here, which looks like, to me, if I seen this on Earth, it would look like some kind of tree or log of some kind. It look, might be petrified if it's been there for X amount of years. Um, and you don't even see any bark on it. If it is, in fact, a petrified uh, uh, tree trunk, you know, wood, or anything like that. Now... The first person who's done this, and I give full credit to, is uh, Martine Graney, and you can see right here, and it was uh, January 13, uh, 2016 that she has done this. So this has been around for quite a while. So props to her for the, her uh, enhancement. You can actually look for Martian Genesis, and you can see it right here. Um, just look for it on Facebook. You'll see it. She posts a lot of her own stuff, and there's a lot of people that post their stuff too, and she does great enhancement. So, um, again, uh, thanks to her. Um, but... You've got that there, and there's some other thing in here. I'm going to show you guys. Let's go ahead and make this full screen. Let it adjust. Uh, some of these things just blend in so well that you'd swear they're either rocks or it's just really nothing at all. Um, let me see if I can even find this thing. It's it's that crazy. Some of these things is just so hard to find. Um, let me see. And like I said, I probably won't find it now. And then you just, just got this weird rock, supposed rock right here but you can see some kind of blue or something in it almost like this has been hidden and i'm going to show you a couple of things that have been hidden and because most people don't believe it they automatically say ah dude you're making this crap up they're not doing that uh if i could show you guys some of the um uh comments that i get you'd be like oh my god how do you deal with that crap um i mean i've even thought about having like a weekly douchebag hall of fame for these comments and i just oh it ain't even worth my time uh, I, it's just comical, but again, check this out. Look at the way these things right here, and it has this piece goes down like this, and it looks like lines going back up. Nice. See the way they contour and stuff like that. Let me see if I can zoom this in a hair bit more. I can. Okay. So see the way that there's like there's something there in all of this is supposed to be, and it looks supposed to look natural, right? All right. Well, let me see if I can get that back to normal. Um, I'm probably not going to find this now because I want to find it. And it's really, to be honest, with you, it's not super important anyway. But check this thing out right here. Looks like some of those, like the, the masks of some of these tribes we wear. Look at, see the eye holes, right? There's one here, one here. Kind of like the nose thing going on. Got a headdress. Is it possible it's like a statue? I don't know. Um, let me see. Like I said, this thing is so well blended in. And then the other thing I'm going to show you, the main topic of this uh, it's just like, bam, right in your face. Here it is. Okay. Now, most people would probably say, oh, that's nothing more than a rock or a shadow. Not true. Uh, you can see this thing contour like this. Right there, there's another straight piece coming down. I'm going to show you, I think I might even have that in my pictures here, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. That, to me, looks like an opening, and you've got this other pieces here going across, going down, and you get this, what looks like some kind of Almost like a, like a cupboard, like you can open up kind of thing right here. This gray piece right there. It looks like you can open up. I'm going to go a little closer in here if everybody's got the uh, smaller tablets and stuff. Uh, sometimes, guys, it's just out of my control. Like if we're in, like, uh, uh, you know, Photoshop, things like that, you can only go to, like, 500%. And still people are saying, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you zoom in? It's like, man, some things are just out of my control. Now, I can do a little better on this because it's already a pan that you can zoom into. And obviously, I'm on a... Uh, a page, an internet page, so I can zoom in even more. Um, but even that's limited, right? But we're close enough, you can actually see that. It looks like an opening. And if I get that other enhancement, I'll show you that. Um, and it's 
pretty clear, I would say. Not a thousand percent, but it's there. Now, let me bounce over here because sometimes the things that you're looking for is just like, boom, right there in your face. Um, you know, something else I just saw here. Well, maybe there was nothing. Uh, you, some of these, you just have to crawl over these pans. And what I mean, just use your magnifiers or whatever, like I told you guys before. All right, so let's jump over here. I don't want to make this too long. Um, I'm going to jump way over to the rover. You'd be like, all right, why are you going over to the rover? Well, let me show you something. I think you're going to find a little weird in how things can be easily covered up. Um, check this out. It looks like a rock here, which I would agree. Um, but the way, look at the way the very edge of this goes, right? Goes like this. Goes up, and it looks like it actually enhances. See the way it, or it like accommodates very faintly. You can see that it goes like this, comes down. There's something actually here. It looks like there's nothing that's just kind of like a little dune type thing. There's much more to it than that. And I'm going to show you the picture that NASA has. Again, this is from NASA, but I'm going to show you the one that they've got on their page. And, of course, you'll get the link as well. There's right here, there's a, like a fine line. You can't see it, but you will. It's like a big circle. And this actually stuff in this uh, photo itself. Um, and I'm going to show you that right now. Okay. So let's jump out of that real quick. And, and then I'm going to show you. <laughs> this is the photo here. And, of course, this is from, and you can see it up here, 1081, mass cam. So let's, let's go over here because I want to show you. This is cool. Let's zoom way in. Now, again, this is their photo. I don't, I don't care about pixelation. Pixelation you're going to get. We all know that the second you zoom into a photo. But what's funny about it is you can see this thing is a little bit more pronounced now, and you can see the fudging going on in certain areas. Pixelation, again, one thing. When you start to see smudging all in here, all in here, a little bit right there, all the way down to this, you can see outlines of some kind of weird square or rectangular piece here. But check this out right there now, going like this. And you can almost see, like, there's a line where they try to blur out. You can see it right here. And you can see all the, it's like, it's got no detail at all. It's kind of, like, missing. And then right there, there's a little bit of detail. And then you've got this right here. And again, this is even slightly different. Because remember I just showed you, this so-called rock went up, had, like, a, almost a 90-degree angle right there, and went across. This one doesn't seem to have it. There's something blurred out there. There's something that's got height, kind of like this one. I don't even think this is a rock, to be honest with you guys. But... This is completely taken out, and you can see that. Just back out a little bit. Check that out. Look at the fudging going on in this. It's insane. You can see, again, you can see details in some pieces and then completely taken right out. All right. Now, let me show you the obvious piece, which I thought was pretty uh, unique. We're just going to bounce to the other side of the wheel on this thing. Check this out. Please tell me what this is. To me... And, of course, you guys may have your own ideas. This looks like a piece of sheet metal. It's the same thickness from here. It's white. All the way down. Okay. And it has... It looks like it's white, but it has some... This wannabe dirt, this meaning red or orangey, pukey color looking stuff. Um, it's actually stuck in the dirt. Now, I'm going to back out, give you an overall view... Now, the funny part about it is I don't think the rover ran over it. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. Because if you were to see the whole picture of this, and I, you can in a minute if I back out of this. All right. Um, let me just zoom in just to here. You can see the, the wheel, how, how wide this is. Of course, you can't see the very edge of it, but it, it, you can see it rode on this rock. Okay? Now, these wheels do not flex this way or this way. You know what I mean? They just go up and down because this, this is part of like a teeter. It kind of does this. The middle wheels and the other, I think it's the rear wheels, they, they, they actually teeter together, and then the front one's independent. And so th the wheels themselves don't shift side to side. So if it rolls on this, it's got a stiff suspension. You don't have, like, shock absorbers and leaf springs and stuff like that like we would have on our typical vehicles, right? So it probably went over it and not actually ran over it. You know what I mean? So when you look at this thing, and I'm going to show you this in better color, um... Because this is not the real color. And you're going to see the real color come out of this. And again, there it is. Now, let me show you here. This is what the real enhancement. Um, and watch this. When I enhance this area to see if I just ran the, the, the dodge tool. or well, not the dodge tool. I'm sorry. The burn tool over this. And you can see what looks like a faint circle, right? Check this out. Whatever this thing is right here, it has like, it looks like two round objects or something right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me just zoom way in. 
And to me, different colors, to me, show different manipulation density, meaning they just went over it like a certain depth of it uh, or just went over it real heavy, either light or heavy. And it just, you know, to me, that's what the colors, to me, uh, show. Um, there's something else there. There's something that looks like a kind of a gold color. And you can see it extends here, but then it's completely covered in whatever this crap is right here. And you can see that outline I was telling you about right here, the shape of this thing. Just by going like this with the dodge tool, or the burn tool rather, going like this, this popped out. So, of course, I cleaned it up again, meaning started from scratch, and then went real carefully over there, and you can see the edge. And there's something right there. I don't know. It almost looks like a six right there. See it? <laughs> but I don't know what that is. But whatever this is, they're hiding it. Okay. So let's jump to the other side. And there's this other object. What could it be? To me, it would be sheet metal. It has to be some kind of metal. Because obviously it wouldn't be simple wood. If it's been there for X amount of years, it would be completely disintegrated by now, right? It would have to be a steel that can withstand weather. Like uh, aluminum, or aluminium, as some of my friends in the UK pronounce it. Um, this would have to be something that can withstand weather. Pure uh, aluminum would be able to do that. Um... Uh, of course, you guys will get the last comment on this. You tell me what you think this is. Now, uh, let me see here. Let me jump on this. That's a little closer right there. And that's in their color, not mine. This is enhanced. And here's this other piece I showed you. Well, you can see this a little bit better. See that? That's an opening. That's an opening in whatever this thing was. And it looks like something, almost like a cover you can open in. Uh, almost like those weird manhole covers you can kind of go into. Um, I don't know. This could be just simple rock formations. I'd be okay with that. Um, but to me, this has this looks like an opening more than a rock. You can see it's clearly into something. This is all higher around it. Now, what it is, again, I couldn't tell you, right? Um, so there's the close-up of it. To me, it's white. You can actually see it. And again, it's thick, the same thickness throughout. See it? Now, I don't know how far this thing goes underneath the rover, but you can see that. And it's buried in there. It's pretty, I'd say it's, um, let me see. Whoop, messed up. Let me do it this way. It doesn't really matter which way I do this, but. Um, okay. I'm going to just back out of this a little bit. You can see that. And that's in there pretty deep. I'd say that's at least a few inches from like here to about here anyway. Even if it's two to three inches. Okay. We don't even know how far that goes down, but you can see it's sliced into the dirt. It's stuck in the dirt. What it is, you guys tell me what you think it is. I think it's some kind of, it has to be some kind of aluminum or some kind of material that will withstand weather, right? Uh, and to be there for X amount of millions of years or billions of years, as they claim, there was, you know, no atmosphere or anything for X amount of time, which I don't buy. Uh, I don't think anybody really buys into that, but um, we don't know for sure. We're just going by what we're seeing and should it have been on the planet, should it lasted this long, what is it? You guys be the judge, right? Um, let me see. Let me see what else have I got here. Oh, that's another picture. So anyway, guys, tell me what you think this stuff is. And again, that's the, this is more natural color of it. And you can see it better there of the road. It's more black wheels instead of the more pukey color, which clearly that's not. You can see the braided, uh, sleeves that are going over the wires and hydraulic lines and everything else. And you can see it here where everything's so much cleaner and the black wheels as they're intended to be, as they are actually. And you've got this right here. And again, you can see a whole lot of blurring here going on. Uh, again, you know, uh, pixelation is one thing. Blurring out is a whole nother. And like I said, there's something hiding right here and they've completely taken that out. And you can see it again in this regular picture here. And you guys, again, you guys will get the picture. You can see that blurring. Look at it. It's like splot. Uh, let me see if we can do this here. It's like this spot blurring. You can see that right there. Look at that. Good good detail. Good detail. Everything. Nothing. Same thing over here. Detail. Detail right here. Little spot. You can see right there. Good detail and completely taken out. Lack of information right there. Completely taken. And uh, same thing with this. All kinds of detail. You can see the rocks. All kinds of... Oh, this one kind of looks like elongated rock. But there's something else there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know what that that is either. But whatever it is... You can see where they clearly have taken the information out of this picture. What are they hiding, guys? Tell me. 
Anyway, I'm not going to make this too much longer. I do have another one coming up, and this one here is, I, I was going to present it with this one as well. Don't want to make it too long, but the next one up is coming up. It's going to be awesome as well, um, and you guys are going to have a look at that yourselves. But um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I, I'm really sorry I didn't get, you know, uh, get this out sooner. I wanted to, but... Just didn't make it uh, a little under the weather, but we're rocking and rolling again. I've been working all this time, too. I just work right through it. Uh, you know, I'm the kind of guy who would just say, listen, I'll take a couple of ibuprofen and get rocking and just keep working here, right? So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always, uh, you know, glad that you do and, uh, and sticking with me. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video.